Your Place in the Universe by Jason Chin. These kids are eight years old. They are about five times as tall as this book, but only half as tall as this ostrich. Ostriches are the tallest birds in the world and may grow to be nine feet tall. That's taller than two eight-year-olds standing on each other's shoulders, but it's less than half as tall as this giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest animals on land. The tallest giraffe on record was 19 feet tall, which is more than twice as tall as the tallest ostrich, but giraffes aren't the tallest living things in the world. The tallest living things are trees. The tallest trees on earth are California redwoods, and the tallest redwood is 380 feet tall. It's 20 times taller than the tallest giraffe, and it's still growing but even it is not as tall as the tallest structures that humans have built. The tallest building in the world is more than seven times taller than the tallest redwood, and people keep constructing taller buildings, but even these soaring skyscrapers are tiny compared to the highest peak on Earth. Measured from sea level, Mount Everest is 29,035 feet tall. That's about five and a half miles, almost nine times the height of the tallest planned building. But even Mount Everest doesn't reach all the way to space. Although there's no exact height for the edge of space, it's commonly said to be 62 miles up. The International Space Station orbits 248 miles above sea level. That's 45 times as high as Mount Everest, but it doesn't seem so far compared to the entire planet. Earth is 7,926 miles wide. That's 128 times the distance from sea level to the edge of space. From far away, the visible atmosphere looks like a thin blue film surrounding our planet, and the International Space Station doesn't appear very far away at all. Earth is enormous, but it's not so big compared to the orbit of the moon. The moon is 238,855 miles away from Earth. It's so far away that 29 Earths could fit between the two. It's so far that a jet plane going 500 miles per hour would take 19 days to get there. But even the moon is close compared to the sun. Earth is 93 million miles away from the sun. That's so far that a jet plane going 500 miles per hour would take more than 20 years to get there. It's so far that sunlight takes eight minutes to reach Earth, and light travels 186,000 miles per second. But Earth is one of the closest planets to the sun. There are five planets beyond Earth. The farthest is Neptune, which is 30 times farther from the sun than Earth is. The dwarf planet Pluto is 40 times as far, which is so far that sunlight takes more than five and a half hours to reach it. Pluto is part of the Kuiper Belt, which has billions of comets and four dwarf planets, but that isn't the end of the solar system. Scientists believe there are trillions of comets beyond the Kuiper Belt. The farthest of these could be 100,000 times farther than the sun, from the sun than Earth is. It takes sunlight more than a year to travel that far, which would make the solar system more than a light year away. But our solar system is a tiny speck compared to the size of our galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy is 100,000 light years across and contains more than 100 billion stars. One of them is our sun. There are so many stars that from a distance they blend together and look like swirling clouds of light. We are about 27,000 light years from the center of the galaxy, which means that even if you could travel at the speed of light, it would take you 27,000 years to get there but that's nothing compared with the distance to the Andromeda galaxy. Andromeda is the closest large galaxy to us, but it's 2.5 million light years away. It would take you 2.5 million years traveling at the speed of light to reach Andromeda. 
Andromeda and the Milky Way are part of a galaxy group called the Local Group. It has roughly 50 galaxies and is spread across millions of light years of space. But galaxy groups are small compared to galaxy clusters. Galaxy clusters are much larger than galaxy groups. The Virgo cluster is the largest galaxy cluster near us. It has around 2,000 galaxies and is roughly 50 million light years away. But it's not the only one. Many galaxy clusters and groups surround Virgo, and then all together they are known as a local supercluster. But even our supercluster is just a tiny part of the cosmic web. Huge chains of galaxies, millions of light years long, are strung throughout space. Clusters of galaxies are found where the chains meet and between the galaxies lie vast empty regions called voids. This pattern is called the cosmic web and it extends for billions of light years in all directions like a giant three-dimensional net. These are the largest structures in universe. The universe is everything. Every star and every galaxy, every planet and all of space. It's the grandest environment we know of and it may go on and on forever, but we don't know if it does. We don't know because the farthest we can see is around 13 billion light years away. Everything within this distance is called the observable universe. It's the region of space that we can see from where we are. In the vast cosmic web, in the Milky Way, in the solar system, there is a small blue planet called Earth. Earth is the only planet that we know of with life. It's the only planet we know of with trees, giraffes, and ostriches. It's the only planet we know of with kids who can look up and imagine their place in the universe. 